Hi everyone, this is Marius and I've decided to uh, quickly do a video for you again, of course. Uh, this time it's how to install the VSR on an Oracle VM VirtualBox. You would have seen a video from me before if you've been on the ABC networking uh, community uh, where we've actually shown you how to actually install a VSR um, on the actual VMware workstation. Um, this time, however, um, I thought some people asked me whether it's possible on Oracle as well to do it with a VirtualBox. And the answer is absolutely yes. Okay, so from that point of view, I thought let me quickly do a video on this as well. So I've been messing around with the latest version yesterday. Okay, and if we go to it, you'll see basically that this version that I'm running right now, <coughs> sorry about that, is of course version 5.0.14. That's the latest one you can download uh, today and of course works perfectly well. As you can see, I've got some other VSRs that I've started up already. I can run them in Linux or Linux. And I can also run them in Microsoft, so it doesn't really matter from that point of view. So very quickly, just how to do that. What you would need is you need the VSR software or your device. And in this case, we'll just say new. Um, let's give this guy a name, whatever we want to call it. Let's call it a video. Oh, no, let's call it VSR4. That's easy. VSR4, because I can just keep track of them there. I'm going to do this as a Microsoft one. You can do Linux and so forth. What's important though is that you choose other Windows 64 bit. You say next. This is important, 1024. You need a minimum of 1024 of RAM. You say next. And from this point, it's pretty much the default. Okay, create a virtual hard disk now. You can say VDI, that's brilliant, no problem whatsoever. Dynamically allocated for the storage, yeah, that's good. Um, don't need 20 gigs, you can go for 8 gigs. Right. So eight gigs is perfect, create. Okay, and that's pretty much it, it's created. And if you look at some settings there, of course you can change some settings and so forth. All right, with the different adapters and so forth. Good, so that's easy enough, not gonna go into too many settings now. The next step that would be for you to start this up and the actual installation. I've pre-selected my VSR, um, but if you wanted to go and check it out, all right, wherever you've saved it, on my case, my case is on the desktop. Um, you've got actually the VSR uh, file here. Looking at the properties itself, all right, that's pretty much the properties of the actual file. So you have to go and actually download it from the HP website, the latest one. Uh, copy it onto your laptop server, whatever you want to use, right? And once you have it, it will pop up over here, of course, you select it and you say start. Right. At this point, uh, basically, it will decompress. It's actually now loading the, the files. Um, as you move forward, of course, you have to make a selection, fresh install, upgrade install, recovery install, or IRF install. Well, in this case, it's going to be a fresh install, brand spanking new. I just want to say yes to this. Okay, it's going to actually partition the device at the moment. That's pretty easy enough. You say yes. Um, I want to reboot right now with all this new information. Please remove the disk. There is no disk right now. Let's hit the enter button there and let's see what happens. Okay. It's loading the files at the moment, which looks pretty good. It's booting the kernel. All right. And there it is. This in the next couple of seconds will pop up as an actual fully functional router. Good, and if you display interface uh, brief, I think there's one interface right now associated with it. And that is how you install it. Um, the one cool thing about this is that you can actually have quite a lot of interfaces interconnected. So I must say that this seems to be a favorite for me at the moment. I like to use VirtualBox. Nothing wrong with VMware Workstation. I've used it for a lot, but this seems to be one of my crowd favorites right now. I like this. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this helps you in future.